Good morning from Sweetwater, Texas. Today I'd like to talk to you about the highly controversial Warfian Hypothesis. For those of you who don't know, the Warfian Hypothesis is the idea that the language you speak influences your thought process. In other words, the fact that I speak English means that I think differently than someone who speaks Mandarin. Benjamin Worf argued his idea using the Eskimos and their 40 plus words for snow. He says that since the Eskimos see snow so much differently than us, they think differently than us. Now, though this idea has been debunked in the scientific community, the theory still holds water in the linguistic community when comparing languages and how they see verbs and nouns differently. Take colors, for example. Although all cultures see colors the same way, red is red and black is black, they all have different root meanings in different countries. This can influence their modes of thought and their behavior. As you see from the chart behind me, there are many examples of how colors represent different ideas in different languages. Remember, color communicates meaning. The inventor of the stoplight didn't randomly choose red as his color to stop. He chose it because it is the English word for danger, along with health. Only focusing on red and black, guns up, you can see how there are already many different meanings of different colors in different languages. In Russia, red means beautiful. Think of the red square in Moscow. In Italian, red means angry, yet in India, red means purity. Wedding dresses in India are red. In black, usually connotes a negative or death meaning, yet in some cultures, it means magic. This example of something as simple as colors can show how the Warfian hypothesis can affect day-to-day -day feelings and raises the question of just how much language affects thought process.